Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand flooding in computer networks. So, the concept of distance vector routing has already been explained in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, coming to this class, uh, flooding is an another kind of routing, te te uh, routing technique. So, we are have discussed about distance vector route we have discussed that there are two different types of routing in dynamic routing one is distance vector routing and the other one is link state but why we are discussing about this flooding so uh, this is a technique which is used in the link state uh, uh, routing algorithm so that is the reason why we are discussing it and it is not used it is not uh, very frequently used in the uh, routing techniques so uh, we, we are going to discuss about this flooding because this is uh, used in the link state algorithm so for a better understanding we are discussing about the flooding in this video so flooding is a non adaptive routing technique so for the concepts that we have discussed the routing technique distance vector routing technique that we have discussed is an adaptive routing so adaptive routing means whenever there is a failure in the network or whenever a new system is getting joined into the network so that uh, uh, that new router and the distances and all the uh, concepts which are related to that router will get adapted by that network so for example if this if this links has if this link has been failed means immediately d and c will get adapted to the change so that is what we call it as adaptive routing techniques but flooding is not an adaptive routing technique when a data packet arrives at the router uh, it is sent to all the outgoing links except the one it has arrived on so uh, whenever a data packet has been received by a router so that uh, data packet will not be uh, will will be transmitted through all the interfaces to which the router is directly connected other than the link through which the packet has been arrived so this in this way you may not be able to understand we'll try to understand the concept in detail by using this network so for example if a wants to transmit the data in flooding what happens is in the distance vector routing what happens it is it is going to identify the shortest path based upon the routing table and uh, using that shortest path the, the packet will be transmitted only through that interface but in flooding it will flood the network with uh, uh, with the packets through all the interfaces to which the router is directly connected for example if a wants to send the packet it will flood that packet into into the network through the all the interfaces to which it is directly connected so now it will be received at C, D and B and as and when this packet is received at C, so excluding this packet through which, excluding this link through which the packet has been arrived, it is going to transmit to all other interfaces. C. this point is very important to understand. So this packet has been, essay, uh, uh, has been arrived through this interface, so it will exclude this interface and uh, apart from this interface, it will send through the all the other interfaces so these are the two interfaces which is left with so through this interfaces again this packet will be transmitted to all the all the uh, uh, routers to which they, uh, these routers are directly connected so this is how the network will be flooded with packets so that is what we call it as flooding so can you guess the disadvantages so it is very uh, clearly evident that so the bandwidth will, will be misutilized so for flooding the duplicate packets we have to use our bandwidth so that is the reason why it is a uh, it is not regularly used in uh, uh, networks okay so in order to control so how this flooding can be controlled there are two different types of flooding one is uncontrolled flooding so the uncontrolled flooding means this is how the uh, flooding is done so without any control all the packets will be transmitted through all the interfaces to which the routers are directly connected so with this uh, 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 the flooding is going to be in an uncontrolled way 
so uh, so how that packet will get received so when a packet is transmitted in this way whenever the packet is received the the receiver is going to check for the ip address destination ip address if the destination ip address is mapping to that network so that packet is getting accepted and uh, uh, the packet will be sent to the destination host so this is how the uh, communication happens by using the routing uh, flooding uh, uh, routing technique okay so now now uh, what are the different types uncontrolled flooding so the concept that we have seen is an uncontrolled flooding each router unconditionally transmits the incoming data packets to all its neighbors so this is what we call it as uncontrolled flooding and the next one is controlled flooding so what this control flooding means control flooding they use the same method uh, they use some methods uh, uh, to control the transmission of the packets as the flooding is more with the packets in order to control them in order to control them they are using some techniques uh, uh, control the transmission of the packets to the neighbor nodes the popular algorithm uh, for controlled flooding is sequence number controlled flooding SNCF sequence number controlled flooding so this using this technique the flooding can be controlled so how that uh, that can be controlled so the name itself is stating that sequence number so what that sequence number states is so every packet that is being transmitted is having a sequence number for example if this is the first packet that is being transmitted so it transmits it by using a sequence number called one so and this sequence number will get stored in the uh, uh, header part of the packet now using this sequence number we are going to control the flow of data packets so flooding of data packets how that can be controlled is for example if this if this uh, uh, packet has been received at C so what the C will do is it will maintain the details of the packets that has been arrived by using the destination uh, destination address and the sequence number so at C what it happens is uh, so it is going to maintain the list of packets that has been arrived it is a comma one so it means that a packet from a has been arrived with a sequence number one now now what happens this packet will again receive from this point also so the packet has been arrived from this point and again the same packet has been received from this point right and again the same packet will get received from this packet also once the packet has been received after inception of every packet whenever uh, another packet uh, uh, will get received at C it is going to check whether this packet has been arrived or not so it is going to check the destination address it is A and the sequence is number is 1 it means that the packet has been arrived now what it will do is all the duplicates packets will get discarded it is not going to transmit again back into the network so this is how the flooding can be controlled there is a control in the flow of packets flooding of the packets so this is one of the ways by using the sequence number uh, sequence number controlled flooding technique okay this is one of the technique okay so this is all about flooding in computer networks hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching